Um, welcome to a series of Dark Souls. <laughs> it's probably not going to be a very long one because <laughs> I've never played this game before, and I'm not. I'm okay at these kind of games, but I don't know. Let's see how it goes, really. Is there one at seven? I've played this for a few hours, but I'm not. I'm okay at it, but to be honest, this is this, <laughs> this uh, let's play is more of um, if people watch it, I'm going to be needing tips. Just tell me how to play it and whereabouts to go and stuff. I've never seen a few videos of it before, but it's nothing like playing, playing it. So let's start. In the age of ancients, the world was unformed, shrouded by fog. A land of grey crags, arch trees, and everlasting dragons. But then there was fire, and with fire, came disparity, heat and cold, life and death, and of course, light and dark. Then from the dark they came and found the souls of lords within the flame. Nito, the first of the dead. The witch of Isolith and her daughters of Chaos. Gwyn, the Lord of Sunlight, and his faithful knights, and the furtive pygmy, so easily forgotten. With the strength of lords, they challenge the dragons. Wind's mighty lords peeled apart their stone skins. Witches weaved great firestorms. Nito unleashed a miasma of death and disease. And Seath the scales betrayed his own, and the dragons were no more. will fade, and only dark will remain. Even now, 
there are only embers. A man sees not light, but only endless lights. And amongst the living are seen carriers of the accursed dark side. Well, I thought I'd try this out because I've never played Dark Souls before, and obviously Dark Souls 2 is like, out on PC within about three weeks. Like yes, indeed. The Dark Sign brands the undead. And in this land, the undead are corralled and led to the north. Where they are locked away to await the end of the world. But this is pretty much for anyone who hasn't played the game before. I know that millions of people have, but this, this has, is your fate. Anyone who has played it, the voice will be dearly helped. Because I'm bad at this game. But then again, I'm sure most people are when they first start this. It just takes a learning curve and get used to it.
bad boy. Well, that's just not like that yet. Fireball uses eight. Done. Well, it's like it. Oh, you. You're no hollow. Thank goodness. I'm done for, I'm afraid. I'll die soon, then lose my sanity. I wish to ask something of you. You and I were both undead. Hear me out, will you? Regrettably, I have failed in my mission. But perhaps you can keep the torch lit. There is an old saying in my family. Thou who art undead art chosen. In thine exodus from the undead asylum, maketh pilgrimage to the land of ancient lords. When thou ringeth the bell of awakening, the fate of the undead thou shalt know. Well, now you know. And I can die with hope in my heart. Oh, one more thing. Here, take this. An Estus flask. An undead favorite. Oh, God, we need those. oh, and this. Now I must bid farewell. I would hate to harm you after death. So go now, and thank you. Still in the fucking menu. <laughs> well, that's fair. That's the menu.
Cool, got you now. So you have to use the piracy. Okay, cool. Gotcha. Shut on this dickhead. Got not very well. Anyways, I'll get the gist of it now. by the stupid arrow dude but I thought I'd try it out but shouldn't really waste one of these before a boss but Stop right in. It might not work, but I know uh, I use a SS flag, flag fast before I jump down again. That bit. Firelink Shrine. Like I said, I've done, you know, this 
it before. Let's see, just opens this one. I've done the first parts of the game, but I'm really crap at this. This is why I chose the fire and see I'm not very that good at um, sword and shield. I'm okay, but obviously I'd assume it's a learning curve. I get used to it and then the enemy's tactics and so forth, but I'd rather do something like this. I think at the moment. Mixture of both. Only in the ancient legends it is stated that one day an undead shall be chosen. To leave the undead asylum in pilgrimage to the land of the ancient lords. Lordran. Okay, hell. There's no salvation here. You'd have done better to rot in the undead asylum. But too late now. <sighs> well, since you're here, let me help you out. There are actually two bells of awakening. One's up above in the undead church. The other is far, far below, in the ruins at the base of Blight Town. Ring them both. And something happened. Brilliant, right? Not much to go on. But I have a feeling that won't stop you. So, off you go. It is why you came, isn't it? To this accursed land of the undead? <laughs> yes, yeah, exactly what I've come here. No, I was coming to talk to you. Ah, your face. You're practically hollow. But who knows? Going hollow could solve quite a bit. <laughs> and from what I've been told, most of the lore and story in these games is from uh, NPCs or just items that you pick up. So if you do pick up anything, read the description, mm, etc. What? Restoring your humanity? Well, there are a few ways to go about it. Collect it bit by bit from corpses. Or you can butter up a cleric and get yourself summoned. And the quickest way, although I never do it, is to kill a healthy undead and pillage its humanity. Coveting thy neighbor is only human, after all. <laughs> Then we'll do 
vitality. And obviously strength. There's strength. Okay, well this is going to be the end of part one. Part one was the undead asylum, escaping. Not doing too well on the boss, but then realising I should really stick to my pyromancy at the moment. Until I build myself up, get better weapons, and so forth. See you in part two.